Yeah. You know what I want to do now? What's that? I want Alex to push the magic button and show these good folks <gasps> yeah. how to build the Raspi official 7-inch touchscreen. There are plenty of touchscreens that you can use with your Raspberry Pi, but there's only one official 7-inch touchscreen, and it's actually a decent kit that comes with all the screws, spacers, cables, and adapters that you need to get your Raspi connected. For this build, we're going to need a Raspberry Pi. If you can get a hold of one, I suggest the Raspberry Pi 3 Model B. But if you can't get a hold of that, go ahead and use the Pi 2 Model B version 1.1. It has five times the power of the original Pi, and if you're going to pair a Pi with a relatively expensive screen, you might as well make the project worth the effort. The only tools you'll need is a medium-sized Phillips screwdriver and a pair of pliers. Everything else is in the box. Start by connecting the large display ribbon from the screen to the back of the adapter board. The design uses a zero insertion force connector which requires you to gently pull out the tab, insert the cable, and press the tab back into the socket to secure the cable. Now connect the small cable to the small connector on the front of the adapter board. These are the leads for the touchscreen element. Insert the cable into the ZIF socket, then snug the tab to secure the cable. Take the four standoffs and finger tighten them through the adapter into the four mounts at the center of the rear of the screen, making sure that the Raspi logo on the adapter board is visible. Reach into your kit and get the DSi ribbon cable. This is the cable that will connect the adapter board to the Raspberry Pi. Connect one end to the adapter board, contact side up, and secure it into the ZIF socket. Now take the other end and insert it into the display ZIF on the Raspi. We don't want to have to run USB cables to power the Raspi and the screen, so we're going to use the red and black jumpers from the kit to draw power from the adapter board. Find the pin labeled GND or ground on the adapter board and connect it to the black jumper. Then find the pin labeled 5V or 5 volts and connect the red jumper. Take a look at this pinout schematic and notice that the 5 volt pin on the GPIO is the first pin down on the outside row and the ground pin is the third down from the top on the outside row. Connect the red jumper to the Raspi 5 volt pin and the black jumper to the ground pin. Then, using the four screws in the kit, secure the Raspberry Pi to the standoffs on top of the adapter board. After prepping your card with the latest distro of Raspbian, insert it into the Pi and connect power to the USB port on the adapter board. If you've wired everything properly, everything should turn on and you should now see the installation process of your favorite Raspi distro. Uh, this is actually a fun project. Uh, I've, I've added a few things. So I 3D printed these legs. Very slick. Very super and very complicated. Oh, yeah. Because yeah, I had I to go tell. this way and then I had to go that way. <laughs> it was, yeah. <laughs> but it's efficient. It is efficient. And this is actually, uh, I hate to say it, but uh, especially because I tried this with the, with the Raspi 3, mm -hmm. this is a really nice piece of hardware if you couple it with a fast enough Raspberry Pi. Right. Uh, yeah. Has it, have you ever tried the first Raspberry Pi with that? Uh, that was no. No. Not yeah. Even, I wouldn't even bother. Even, actually, I don't think you can because if you look at the first Raspberry Pi, actually no, you could. So it's got the same headers, but uh, yeah, it would be horrifically slow. It yeah. just it would not be fun at all. Uh, but this is this is actually a it's a it's a decent distribution the Raspberry and. and if you use the official screen, mm -hmm. actually, if you actually if you come back over, if you use the official screen, the nice thing about this is it's um, it's out of the box. There is no further setup, and, and this is actually see, look at that. That's nice. this is not the three. This is two, and it's still kind of snappy. Uh, That's I, cool. This is not bad at all. This is the the Twit website, and there's a lot of video. There's a lot of content on there. Definitely. So if if you're looking for a weekend project. I'd say now is the time to get yourself one of these. Get yourself a $35 Raspi, get yourself mm -hmm. the $60 screen, make yourself this. I'm actually going to be designing some 3D custom cases for a future project of know-how. Uh, and of course, as <laughs> always, we'll offer them all to you for free for yeah. download and build it the way you want. You can make like a little Raspberry Pi uh, tablet. Yeah, yeah. I, I, um, I was thinking of, I want a, a countertop one so that it tucks away, mm -hmm. but then like you push it and it comes folds down. down. Yeah, yeah, that would be right? cool. Hmm. I'm just saying, I'm just saying. Very nice. Fancy, fancy. Uh, so uh, you're not going to be using this for a while, oh, right? Oh, man. See, <laughs> stuff just gets stolen around here, folks. I, but I still love it. Not bad. And you don't have to do anything special to get the uh, touchscreen to work, huh? No, that's, that's the thing. I, I, have, I have this. So I got this a long time ago. This was a 2.4-inch touchscreen shield. 
Itty bitty. This was the, such a pain in the butt to get working. <laughs> there was like 15 different packages I had to download, oh, and they didn't install properly. So it was one of it, you've you've gone through this. I have. Where you muck up the installation, and I'm like, well, I could figure what I did, <laughs> or I could just start over. And I always started over. That's yeah. I did no configuration. This this is literally out of the box. That's exactly how it looked That's when I cool. first got it. That's cool. Because uh, so the last project, the the security camp project I've been doing, I basically just went with terminal. I was yeah. like, I don't need a UI. No. It just slows things down. I'm just yep. going to do everything through terminal. I might have to uh, mess around with that now if I get a touch screen. Especially if you can get your hands on a, a Raspberry 3. Well, fastness. I mean, I, maybe I can. No, just stop it. Go away. <laughs>